Changes are a natural part of life. Sometimes we handle them well, and sometimes we do not. These changes can be anywhere between minor, drastic, and so far gone that the only acceptable response is an existential crisis followed by laying on the floor in a mix of blood and chunky nick nuggets. But as usual, let's beat a dead horse and talk about video game armor. So, grab a drink, sit back, relax, and waste a few minutes of your time listening to my flawed opinion. Oh, and this is a thing now. I'm wearing the Spartan gear. Subscribe for more or whatever. So by now, we're probably all up to speed on the latest Halo Infinite details, but for anybody in need of a quick recap, a lone pilot who is stranded in space comes across the Master Chief. He gives him a boost, reveals that everything that could have gone wrong has indeed gone wrong, and that the Master Chief is ready to kick some serious ass again. Nothing too over the top, but definitely a strong opener for old and new fans. Now I'm a guy who can take repetition on the cheek and not get too bothered by it, but since the announcement and release of Halo 4, we in the Halo community have been gifted with two wonderful words. Can you guess what they are? My answer is two words. Art style. Now as far as I can tell, this is what Chief will look like in the final game, or it's at least a very strong representation of what it will be, and I have gotta say... Wow. <laughs> wow. I have always been vocal about my dislike for the designs between Halo 4 and 5, so to see this, it is a... Wow, it is a breath of fresh air. I mean, hats off to the art team for their work here. I'm not gonna lie and say that it looks like a mix of both 4 and 5 and 2 and 3, because it clearly looks more inspired by 2 and 3. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of prefer it that way, and even though we're moving forward with this look now, I don't want to forget or pretend that these ones didn't exist too. A lot of hard work did go into them, so they do deserve a highlight. Well, with that being said, a little while ago, while browsing the Halo Reddit, I came across an edit of Chief's new design by user BuzzBuzz, or Gerard's Julian. Links to his Twitter and Reddit pages will be in the description, please check his work out, who decided to add a classic inspired Mark V helmet and shoulders to the armor, and it got me thinking. This looks pretty solid. Really solid, even, and a lot of people seem to agree. Including Marcus Leto, the co-creator of the Halo franchise. I mean, just take a look at this. It really does look like it could work with this body, and that's something that I've always loved about the classic armor pieces and designs. Each individual chunk always looked like it could seamlessly click onto this body, rather than some of the sets in Reach and most of the sets in Halo 4 and 5 that were almost hanging off. But I think the idea behind that was to make sure the Spartans were maneuverable in combat, but for me, it never really hit that walking tank vibe that I was used to. This does. Look at him. This is beef. This is a beefy boy. You know what I mean? Beef. But back to this edit. The more I looked at it, the more I could picture other classic sets in its place. Even a few of the newer designs from 343 I feel could work with this body if they were altered a bit to account for the different shape and more beefy look. I was already interested in this, but it wasn't until Twitter user Pizzaman1962 did some editing that I got really excited. By using a few different colours on the original edit, we get a taste of what classic armour could look like on this body, as well as the standard Halo colour palette, and I love it. I love it so much. It looks so good. I've wanted to see classic armors return in Halo for many years now in their unaltered glory. No offense to the people who've designed the newer sets, but back in Reach we had this version of Recon. As most OG Halo fans can tell you, Recon was this highly coveted armor set back in Halo 3 that's returned to each new main game since 2007. I highlight Reach's specific version because in my opinion, Reach did it best. It wasn't too big, it wasn't too small, and it had a nice look to it that just felt right. But try going from this to... This, I don't, I, you know, I don't know what, I really have to question what the hell happened here because it doesn't even match the overall silhouette of the original. I want to see more classic pieces make their way to infinite and I'm putting money down that we will see old pieces make their return to infinite. Given that the body alone is seemingly inspired by the Halo 3 look with a bit of extra beef to make him look, you know, it seems like an obvious conclusion to come to. And if I had to make requests, I would say, uh, <laughs> 343, can you maybe port like, 
all of the armor from Halo 3 to Infinite, please? Uh, I don't know, that might be a bit greedy, but call me a nostalgia kid as much as you want, but these sets were great and would only serve to better Infinite, in my opinion. There is something that we should be on the lookout for, though, and that's what Infinite will be offering in the old microtransaction department, and I think that's an important thing to take note of. I'm not saying that 343 are gonna lock cosmetics behind microtransactions. They might lock some optional ones behind them, and, you know, for maybe charity events or funding for, you know, HCS and stuff like that, and I'm, I'm okay with that. There's people out there who do like to support that kind of thing, and even though I'm heavily against locking content behind paywalls, I would be fine with that as long as the game itself had some other way to unlock it. Something that I don't want to see, however, is this. I don't want to see good, classic cosmetics being hidden behind a price tag. I don't know how 343 is going to make their money with Infinite. They have said that they're going to do things a bit differently this time around, and cosmetics are something that people go crazy for, and in my opinion, the Halo 3 armor pieces were some of the best designs that Halo has ever had to offer. It would suck to see them hide it behind a paywall, especially since 343 have been hitting things out of the ballpark lately. I gotta talk about some of that stuff in a different video, because for years I've been doing nothing but bashing 343, and they are doing so much good work right now, and it's crazy, I love it. But for now, I just want to say that I do hope that we get to see some more classic sets like the one in this edit, because wow, they, they would go so well with this body. Anyway, apologies for the shorter video and the longer delay in between those videos. I've been a bit occupied in real life focusing on my weight loss, and that's going kinda well, but let's ignore my girthy personal issues and just skip straight to comment time. Since you like the Alien franchise, what did you think of Alien Isolation? I really, really liked Alien Isolation. I can't play it... It's one of those games that I can't play super often, but when I do go back to it, I love it. It's excellent. Would you like Halo LEGO to be a thing? Also, do you hate microtransactions which you pay money for in game money currency and buy the skin you want? Your focus armor looks like a dildo. Okay, well that was really mean and unnecessary, but yes, I would like Halo Lego, and no, I don't like microtransactions. But yeah, that was still really, really mean. How do you feel about Epic exclusives? I don't mind Epic exclusives as long as they are fair. For example, Rocket League, definitely not fair. You can't buy up a product and then take it from one store. That's just, that's just bad business. As long as they're doing that, I will not support their platform. What is your opinion on Borderlands 3 in general, without the Pitchford problem ruining your perception of it? I think it's a great looking game. It looks very well made, it looks as if it's gonna cater to that kind of audience. They, they seem to know exactly what their community wants. And a year after the game comes out, maybe I'll think about looking at it, but I'm definitely not buying it on the Epic Store. Do you eat Coca-Cola with or without the can? What are you, barbaric? You throw Coca-Cola cans in the trash, you don't eat them. It's the Pepsi cans you eat. Do you enjoy other games excluding Halo and why? I enjoy other games like Sea of Thieves, Fallout, Gears of War, Doom, pretty much FPSs and stuff like that. I really like Cards Against Humanity, if that counts. <laughs> and I like other games because playing one game is boring. What if there was a mod that made the Master Chief British? Master Charles? Hey, um, I took your helmet and gave it to the Halo 5 Hunter. Good luck. Rude.